All right, guys, crank case evac. What the heck does that mean? I noticed that I had some oil coming out of different orifices in that case. That means there's a lot of pressure. Uh, obviously, I'm putting a lot of boost pressure on top of the piston, and that's creating a lot of under pressure underneath the piston. There's always some natural blow by. My rings are fine. It's not that. It's just a normal byproduct of a heavily boosted motor. So what is my plan? For years, I have been ventilating the crank, the factory crank case evac, which is right here. This is like a baffle here, and then it comes out, and I've just been going to a little filter, and it's kind of sitting up here, and it just kind of blows oil mist everywhere, and it's kind of annoying. Um, and so this year, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up through here, and I'm, I put this 90 in here, and then I'm gonna come over here, and on this particular motor, it was an old turbo motor, that had a um, turbo oil drain right here. So the turbo was up, kind of up here as a front mount setup, and then it would drain right down here into the crank into the crankcase. So I'm going to use that as another crankcase evac. So I got two points, one baffled, one unbaffled. That is gonna come over to here. Then I'm gonna connect that to this, which is a crankcase oil separator. So if oil vapor comes into here, it separates it out, it's placed or mounted vertically so the oil drains back out when the motor's off. And then it comes out to here and it's gonna to go to this guy, which is a check valve and only allows pressure this way. And actually what I'm doing is an old hot rod trick where I welded in a Venturi, which is what this is. So you mount this just like this in your exhaust stream and like this, and the exhaust comes and hits it and it, it creates a little eddy in there and it draws vacuum. Pretty freaking cool. So if you look in here, you can see right there that that is gonna be creating that vacuum. And so it's going to suck basically all of my crankcase va vapors out through the exhaust. Pretty cool. And this is a check valve so that I can't blow exhaust into the crankcase. So now instead of having crankcase vapor just venting to the atmosphere, not with no vacuum or any pressure, you know, typically you would connect this to the intake manifold or something so that when you let off the throttle, it, it draws vacuum. This is going to be constantly drawing some vacuum. This is gonna add a, uh, a few horsepower, and it's also gonna take all that gunky, oily mess and just put it right in my exhaust, which on this particular exhaust, I'm gonna go over this shortly, but this has a nice uh, blowout or loud valves um, exhaust vent in it that opens up under, under boost. And um, that little oily mist, anything that's gonna come out of there, be perfect to keep that guy nice and, and oiled. And this obviously goes into the tunnel and you can see it's just gonna throw it right on my track, which no big deal. So anyway, I'm pretty pumped about this. This to me seems like a real good solution. I'll get this buttoned up and bring it back. Last thing about evac before I move on to this exhaust. I got to thinking this is supposed to draw a vacuum, right? So what if I could measure that? And you know what they say, don't ever throw away any parts because you never know if you might need them. Look at that. That is my OEM map sensor. Uh, it's a one bar unit, so it'll measure up to about 1.8 PSI of pressure, but then the rest vacuum. So I could hook this up with a T into this line and I could measure vacuum. Hmm. And I had bought a four port solenoid for my boost control. Guess what? I had that one. This is a boost. This is a boost activated cutout at six at a fixed six psi. Hmm. Thinking what I'm thinking. So that means I could be the world's first person to have an exhaust that goes from quiet to loud, electronically controlled, with a Motec engine management system on a Yamaha Apex with a turbo and a supercharger and methanol injection. Cool. I got that going for me.